those who were watching the, the Rise of Osnov uh, stream, they saw how badly I failed there. But this time should be easier because as you can see I've got a lot more gold and way more high level units. Like the, the advantages of a really difficult scenario early on is that you have level 3 units and a lot of level 2 units in the next couple scenarios already. First of all, story. Uh, so we've defeated Malkesha and we've actually allied with him against demons and, well, so he can stay alive. And to find a Lady of Light that might provide some help uh, in this peril. Northwest. That was the direction we had to go, if Malkesha's words were to be, be, to be believed. We were to seek our saviors in the depths of the large mountain range within our reach. A place formerly inhabited by the artisans of the earth, the dwarves of Knalgar. Or Nalgar. According to Elinde, and he was a tormented soul. A man who began his journey fighting for what he believed to be a noble cause, before rearing off the road into an, an eternal abyss that tainted and twisted and destroyed him. Now that man's shadow walked alongside us under the surface of Erdia. I fear what future generations will think of us who allowed such a monster on our side. If we survive long enough to leave any dissidents, that is. In spite of his evident bitterness, the necromancer did not make a second attempt against us. I wondered if this was a ruse, or he was just stunned by Alindir's close watch. Scenario 4. Over the Sands Elind uh, My uneasiness through the journey underground was not solely due to the dark sorcerer's presence, though. Alindir sh shunned my questions about a catastrophe mentioned by her and Malkesha during our initial conversation. It was no surprise to me that the leech would refuse to answer my questions. But why would Elinde show my curiosity, curiosity as well? Is the order of sorceress she belongs to not dedicated to preserving and communicating our law to any elf who would display an interest in it? And how could she, with her words alone, weaken such a pekik peculiar adversary when other sorcerers would fail. Like, um, remember how they were saying they don't think that they can actually destroy Malkesha because he's so powerful and then in, then in Elindis just steps up and says yes we can and then they could. That's what you're referring to. So, ah, the surface and the sunlight scorching hot sand everywhere as usual. How unpleasant. This environment is even more unfavorable for us than the caves. My lord, there's an oasis north of here. If we want to at once across the sands, we will need to make sure our people can rest and replenish with supplies there. The problem is... I heard the rumors already. The oasis is appe appears to be controlled by orcs. Is there any other way through? Definitely not, unless your intention is to retrace your steps across the surface and risk facing the demons again without the tactical advantage of your towers and fortress forests. Small orcish tribes like the one ahead generally lack any proper military discipline. Your forest loving kin should be able to crush them with ease. This isn't exactly motivating. They have lived in the sands for an epoch or more. They are not intruders. Gallus, if you want to lead your people, you will need to become accustomed to making hard decisions like this. There's much at stake. Either the lives of a few orcs who would have no qualms about murdering us in our sleeps, or the lives of our civilians and children, and our hope of protecting and rebuilding our civilization. I would never choose the orcs' lives over ours. Let us prepare for the assault, then. It is only going to become increasingly difficult and expensive to sustain our mounts in this hostile environment. Would that we could replace them with desert beasts. 
If it is your wish to ride sand lions, so be it. I'm sure you won't mind if I dispatch a few bats and possibly one or two skeletal riders to scout ahead. Our agreement did not include allowing you to make use of your full sorcery in our presence. Did it include forbidding me from doing so, though? Let him do as he wishes. You can now recruit unnamed units. Elvish units will become gradually more expensive to recruit, but not recall as you progress through scenarios. Um, for one, it's going, it's going to be harder to find enough food for everyone, and for two, your people are slowly dying out. Like you have just a couple of thousand left, mostly civilians, and training up in a soldier is gonna cost more and more. Then, for this scenario, dehydration. At the beginning of each daytime turn, dawn, morning, midday, afternoon, and dusk, all player controlled living units, except bats, will suffer from thirst, unless they are standing on grassland or forested terrains, which there are basically none on this map, in castles, encampments, or keeps, or hiding underground. Each turn spent thirsty reduces a unit's attack by 1 and causes 4 hit points of damage. Thirsty units will regain full health strength at the start of each turn by refreshing at a village or water hex, or being cared for by a healer. As with poison, a unit will not die of thirst even if it is reduced to 1 hit point. Likewise, its attack damage will not draw below one. drop below 1. Those scenario objectives defeat the orcs controlling the oasis. Strength on the road is apparently a bad idea. Sources of income, pretty much none. And dehydration for every living unit. So, with those guy, two guys, I can sustain about 8 living units. To, uh, despite. Uh, despite uh, What's it called? Despite dehydration. So Malkash is an ancient leech. All his uh, maybe a virtually unstoppable weapon against most living units. Keep in mind that he is weak against impact, arcane, and fire attacks. Even more so in the daytime. So I've got only two villages. That's basically nothing. Uh, first of all, here's my Übergalas. I gotta try them up a bit more. Then, preferably a Trapper because they are doing okayish on the sands. Then, I need basically a couple of uh, level 1 units because, well, I don't have enough villages to sustain pretty much anything else. Wait a second. Just wondering. Yeah, I uh, just noticed this. This one apparently did not demand upkeep. See, doesn't demand upkeep. I'm not complaining. Just surprised. So again, I want this one. And I want my Uber Gallus and probably an archer I can upgrade to what's it called? I forgot its name. Uh, a ranger. Scout. Scout got anyway. And another fighter maybe. Yeah, recalling this one is not worth it right now. And a ghost. Because they, well, have got nice movement. So, yeah, this is about recruiting undead. Gallus, it's not even midday. Has the heat atrophied for your senses already? You defeated him once. Surely you could do so do it again if worst comes to worst. I need to know to what extent we can trust him. My lord, if you allow me to say so, he's a damned soul, a necromancer. You absolutely cannot place any trust in his words. I need to know his motives for offering us his help. 
If his intentions is to strike us down and raise an army with our corpses, I would rather find out sooner than later. And the suns continue their journey through the skies. Hopefully your elves will stand long enough to reach our Aesis young leader. Watch an ass. What an ass. Will will he ever stop mocking us? Probably not. So let's go. So for now there is pretty much nothing beyond the roads. So I don't have to worry about about straying from them from them or anything like that. So this was an ill advised. Okay. Yeah. So everyone is covered by healer, except him. And and more importantly, every living unit is covered by healer, so none of them will suffer from the suffer from having no water. Or of from being dehydrated. So more beds. So fun fact, you can as a strategy recruit civilians, send them to fight and then let them be raised again. But not yet, that's apparently in a later scenario. But it used to be that you could do this from this scenario onwards, so you would have recruit one unit and get two basically. Pretty useful. So case I can recruit one more unit because before my income is basically gone wow. so six movement points if it's just wondering which one I should take 35 yeah let's go with this one and one walking corpse Bold. Ha! The scouts weren't hallucinating after all. It's a party of bold little elves helping for a precious oasis. Go get them. Cover. So the advantage of the undead is clear, they don't need a healer to, to cover them. Uh, so technically I could have as many of them as I want, and not that it would be a really smart idea though. So it's kinda nice to see that the wolves are pretty aggressive and just taking free damage from me. I'm not complaining for sure. Alright, this one I recruited so I can get at least one. What was I looking for? Right, um, at least one marshal. So I have one of every kind of unit. Not that I think I will need them. But it's better to have them than to have them not. That's usually the case. No, that's not exactly what I wanted. I wanted to place my unit over there instead. Uh, but I think I can deal with that. It's unlikely that this unit dies. If it did, it would be quite kinda sad to be honest. Just checking. Yep, a night blade as an advancement is enabled. Nice. So he's gonna suffer from the f first, but it's not that terrible. Shame. Was hoping I could give maybe the XP to my 
vampire bed over there. So you see there's a couple of girds. He can, at least during daytime, hold off the orcs by himself, which is great. And yeah, everyone else is also not in danger. So you can basically chill. Amazing damage, honestly. So now is the short dark coming, so I don't have to um, focus so much on covering everyone because they don't need a cover right now. Yes, yes, this is more like old times. Remember, Malkasher turned into a leaf because he wanted to fight the orcs. Which is doing right now, so yeah, he's happy. This is a shame. You know what, I'm gonna risk that. Oh. It's bad. Just gonna, like this bad is probably dead, but I don't care. Not hitting there is a shame, but luckily not a deadly one. But I do think I had once a bit too fast. I could have more easily taken them a bit further down. Like, I, for example, I didn't have to lose this bed. I just did because I was bored. Nice. Um, like this and just run them down, I guess. Slow this one. Slow also this one. Destroy this one. And yeah, run them down basically. Like you see, 16 times 5 damage crushes basically everything in its way. Yeah, and now a lot of units are gonna suffer from the... Uh, from a lack of healer that covers them. That's on me, I kinda... I, I tend to forget about the whole dehydration thing, even if it stops only for a moment. And I want to keep that unit. So... Two things at once. Cover my living units so I so not as many of them suffer from dehydration. And save this guy. Whoops. So now I just have to place my living units around those two. This one is not really a loss when he suffers from dehydration. So this is fine. Yeah, and they basically don't dare to attack anyone because they're so weakened and slowed. Perfect. Boom. Just checking how many variations are there. Bad Beast Rider, interesting. Um, a lot. But no arc variation, so I can just ignore this one. Actually, why not? Like, while I play this, I Preferably one also one and 
one walking corpse of each kind. Especially because there are now so many different variations. Right, um, placing a unit next to the enemy leader uh, almost assures that uh, everyone, every unit of them, of that enemy uh, will attack them, which can be pretty useful if we want to force them to attack you. So this one didn't attack me at all, so I can pretty much ignore him, but to be safe I will slow him anyway. Elves in my oasis, and you brought a necromancer with you, no less. Be gone! Just as a small reminder that you are the intruders this time, and the orcs basically did nothing wrong except just happen to, they just happen to stand in your way. So yeah, we are not the good guys right now. So your mages are my best chance to strike this one down, because he has, well, because he is so good at dodging. The village stuff. Yeah, and ignore him beyond this. Right, I see how I can't look further than this. This is uh, basically made so, because you're not supposed to look beyond this right now. It will live once I defeat the enemy leader. Oh, mean. Okay, yeah, that is not worth it working. And to finish this one off, some XP for me, please. The chief then kept a small heart of gold in his tent. We shall surely find a use for it. You will try 50 pieces of gold. So you see it, uh, the map opened up over there, you get more vision. So now's the next part of the scenario. This oasis is ours now, but we may not tarry long. Our people can replenish supplies and grab anything of value left behind by the orcs, but it is imperative that we continue scouting ahead and clearing the path. Is this what we have been reduced to? Looters and scavengers? Well, Kesha, where should we head now? West. I thought we were supposed to head northwest. First west, then we can tr resume traveling northwest. The descent north of here is especially unpleasant, with absolutely no sources of water or food for our troops for miles and miles. 
your people would, su would surely starve and perish. On the other hand, the sands and mountains to the west are all that stands between us and the river, and then a green wall is leading into the very heart of Urdia. The sooner we find land that isn't completely covered in sand and covered in sand and infested with orcs. Proceed with Gallus to the mountain range, range on the western side of the map. Yeah, sounds good to me. Now I can also recall already recruit more units. Let's go with more skeletons for now. Because now I have obviously more villages available. So you see there's a nice tooltip explaining the dehydration thing. Again, if you forgot, for example. Those hostile spirits? Is this a trick of yours, Markesha? No, they are corrupted souls who have haunted, haunted the desert for an eternity. Victims of the destruction that, tu that turned Irdia into an endless desert. Physical weapons are of little use against them. And they always find a way back. Unless, of course, they are banished from our world by spellcasters, capable of wielding arcane, fi arc of arcane fire, or possibly a necromancer and his minions. So yeah, basically, if I kill them, I need to do it with arcane damage, otherwise they just can return later on. And being and it will be pretty annoying if they do that. Da -da. So this is now the long dark, so... Scorpion! What are the resistances? So let's finish the orcs off. I almost feel bad for this one. Never stood a chance. I think I can get scorpion walking corpses. Let's see. Wait, there's two. Interesting. It should not happen. Just at this. Hmm. Okay, so there's apparently no scorpion walking corpse or something. But I, th I think those are folded into the Saurian variant, possibly. Uh, we will see. So more units, please. Like more melee units to be precise. So anything else I want, I've got. Ah, uh, right. I've got. Lots of units actually. I don't need a bigger army for now. Like if I know once any of them levels up or at least a couple of them, I will have more units and I, my income will lower. Which is alright. I know one unit I do want a sorceress. Uh, to combat the spirits. Turn to the darkness from whence you came. And then there's this nice little thing banished. This, this. And then they are officially banished. And won't return there anymore. So... I do not need to be in uh, formation right now, but I will uh, so I can. I will get into formation so I can easily start off 
once the day starts. More wolves. Couple of hundred and elves. So, apparently I've got six living units plus two healers, and the rest is undead, which is fine, I think. So, I think there are plenty of reasons not to stray from the road, at least not much, unless, of course, you want to get some XP like I do right now. So let's see about baiting those scorpions one by one. So, okay, next turn is gonna be daylight. So I really shouldn't break formation now. Okay, this is a, there's a lot of ghosts. Like, see the difference between uh, ghosts and Aaron Souls? Aaron Souls are even weaker than ghosts. Although I'm confused why they don't level up to ghosts, it would be nice too. Damn it. This should be one. Off. Hmm. It's so, okay, one of them is gonna be, be without the healing stuff, but add the healing support, but I guess I can survive that. Attacking Elish is not a good idea. So let's finish off this one. Banished. So now this time everyone is accounted for and this one even gets a healer. No, I actually wanted to give it to my walking corpse over there, but I guess I'll have to deal with this. Alright, oh, um, the undead are those, those errant souls and ghosts mostly are around during every time uh, unless it's the sun is full out. So first morning, midday, afternoon, that's the time where they're not around but at any other time you will see them and we'll have to deal with them. Interesting. So This one, this one is to heal, this one is to fight. And to get a bit more vision, I guess. Oh, 
Oh, more of them. Let's see. Let's bait them. But yeah, it's obvious enough if you stray from the route, you're gonna encounter encounter monsters. And if you don't stray, you not you won't have to fight them. So it's up to you to stray from the road and preferably in a some kind of controlled fashion. Oh, they have fallen into spider variation now. I liked it. Oh, that's interesting. Right problem, um, when fighting those guys with my skeletons over here. The, pi the pins just deal basically uh, impact damage, so it's not a good idea. The bandits add what is this? Are those elves? Like in the stories? Undead! They've brought the damned spawns of darkness with them. Come on, man, it's time to smash some bones. I don't suppose we will make a better, much better impression of our necromancers. Min Minions marching amongst us. Would we? Is this lagging? Nope. New objectives. Defeat a leader of the barbarians controlling the mountain pass. See? Enemy leader. Check. War base income. This is gonna be fun, I guess. Well, let's remove those guys first. Or at least try to. Oh, another scorpion. So, this one is gonna suffer from the heat. But none of the others will do. I f hmm. Still think I should have recruited more units. Also want to know what's over there or if there's anything at all. Actually, I think I should send a battle for this. Sounds like the best idea. This one over there, I will send my wraith to fight. And those wolves are for my skeletons over here. Preferably with my undead backup. What did I discover? Oh, yeah, the wolves. And let's go down there. There's a keep and some undead. Can they reach? Nope, they can't. Let's scout ahead a bit more. Not like this, apparently. So now I basically sculpt my uh, formation around the around how my units can move. Okay, so this one doesn't even get to go there. Then let's do it like this. Perfect. Not quite perfect, because I want to heal the skeleton. Better. Way better. There's apparently some water over there, but I can't reach because it's quite protected by, well, the wildlife. I think that's the right word. Yeah. 
Yeah, I want this one to attack from there because there is vulnerable. Or at least somewhat vulnerable. So I don't need to keep formation right now because next turn is night. So there won't be any dehydration to suffer from. Okay, next turn. So while I had better odds to hit him while he's on the sand, it's sadly not the same as having good odds. Yeah, that would be a bad idea, I think. Nice. Yeah, I really need the village soon. I'm running out of income. Then... Slaying this has priority over giving one of my units the XP. Which is why I'm doing it like this instead. Um... Yeah, I shouldn't have broken a uh, formation there. This is gonna be annoying, I guess. Um, how can I work around this? Let's do it like this. Give me some more vision. Only one of them can attack, so this one is not in danger. Especially not if I cover like this. And preferably not make this one part of the fight. <laughs> so there's those are reinforcements for those guys over there. Huh. So my bat still can't move, but my wraith can totally slay the scorpion. And yeah. Looks nice. So yeah, I moved my units so only the healer will suffer from the from the daytime. While everyone else will be fine. So basically everyone who's doing the fighting will be fine. So that's a win on from my point of view. Okay, so this guy will also suffer because he's too slow, but the rest is fine. Then it was the... For now, I'm not gonna start the fight with the walls over there. Although, actually... You know what, whatever. Like, it, it would be better if I waited for the next night, the long night, so I can really hurt them when they attack and, like, hurt them a lot. But I don't care enough. Okay, so this part of the map was changed. I remember that there was a way to move in there. Uh, but yeah, not anymore. But to be fair, this map has changed a lot over the time. Oh, a dire wolf even. I think I need a second wraith to tackle that one. Yeah, this is a uh, user-made content that is invasion from the unknown. All right, uh, the same. Actually, the same thing is true for this one. Um, like, pick any kind of unit and um, you can give that unit a name, but only one unit per viewer. And of course none of the hero units. Could totally slay them, I think. Or at least he won't die while trying to slay them. Then... I don't want an advancement right now because I'm out of income. Oh, come on. Oh, 
Okay, so yeah, there's apparently the base of the enemies. Um, let's just go there and beat them up. So yeah, now that it's daytime, I'm not gonna engage them because I pretty much don't deal any damage during daytime, at least not with my skeletons. So it's just not a good idea. More ghosts, okay. I think I can destroy a ghost or two. Even if it's daytime. Yep, that's fine. Oh, I left my bed in attack range. That's an accident, but nothing too bad happened. Ah, uh, luckily this is a level zero unit, so I can uh, still move. It has no control zone, that's useful. Okay, so there's a lot of ghosts over there. And those guys are just gonna wait for... Boom. Yeah, let's just write this in the chat as well. Um. So to get through there, I will have to wait for my army. Even though it's somewhat of a misnomer considering the size of my, well, very small army. Oh, there's a village, that's great. I really need to move my undead army over here to take them down. It will be quite useful. Certainly do crave at least one village right now. So the elves keep moving pretty slowly, but at least they do move. I guess I can't ask for much more right now. Whoops. Whatever. As long as I'm not in, in a fight, I don't have to mind my units getting dehydrated. So the long night is about to start, so I can finally s start engaging those guys. Next turn, when I will deal the most damage at once. Like, if I place any unit in range of them, they will attack, and they will take a lot of hits. Which is the plan. So and I'm baiting this one so my Wraith can finish it off next turn. So this one first. Then this guy. Also keep healing them please. So yeah, that was a perfectly fine bait. Vanished. Then let's do, let's redo this with this one. Should be even easier. So I could totally charge in and destroy this one. And I think I'm gonna do just that. Well. Except the destroying part. Yep. 
that sounds about right. So let's just have everyone ready to attack once they are once the wolves get baited. See? Pretty much destroys them when get just uh, by retailation because both units are really bad at defending at that place, but uh, I deal way more damage while being resistant to theirs. Like you see? I take only 4 damage out of the 6 damage. Sixteen. Let's take this one actually. Like neither of them can die, but he killed still still had a chance at getting some some what's it called? At some getting some rest heal, like he does now. Like this one is gonna move over there to take there and just I just keep banishing more of them I at least try to so then let's clean up the so-called barbarians that went pretty well for now I really need to avoid leveling up anyone because then I dip into negative income into debt basically which is for obvious reasons not good like this one is the only unit, uh, unit I can level up without uh, repercussions income wise and everyone else should stay on the level they are right now preferably at least banished not... no. I can do better than this and I do not want to lose this. And I'm not happy about this guy. Uh, like someone just... Uh, just sent two spam invites into the chat. Which I'm of course not happy about. So I want to bait only one of them. Like I would put Jeff. No, I can put a unit there and only this one attacks. And none of them attacks. Perfect. That's a good bait. This is different. I think I attacked with them, f them first, uh, which is why. Uh, the, the order of hits was different this time. At least this state is the same. Technically possible, but also chance of you losing the unit, which I do not want. So let's get into inf uh, somewhat into formation. For one, it heals my unit, and for two, I will need it in a couple of turns. Yeah, that did not work. That did work. Nice. So... So 
So in this way, this guy gets baited automatically next turn, which is also great. Right, I think I forgot its skeleton over there. But yeah, not too late to pick it up now. Oops. Way too close for my taste. <laughs> Whew. So let's scout a bit more. This one obviously needs a healer. This one actually as well. Those guys will be needed to take down the wolves over there. First those, then those, and preferable feeling in that village. Then... This one gotta go. Like, it's a shame to give um, Akasha this XP, but it's better than uh, leaving that unit alive, from my point of view at least. Okay, so those two are gonna suffer from the dehydration. The rest of them will be fine. Yeah. So, this one is gonna heal, then return down there and take the rest of the ghosts out. Those guys are gonna heal, of course, as well. And then, then take out the wolves over there. This one needs to heal fully as well before they can take out the Aaron Sul. And then their job is finished over there and they can move them back to help out over there. Yeah, he is level 3, he can tank this. Um, a village? Not exactly. And yeah, let's scout a bit more and see how many of them are left. This is outside of range. And yeah, the bat will just have to stay there for a moment. I can't bait them yet, but soon. Okay, there might actually be only one. Okay, two of them left. Returned. I need to get up to there, so... No further than this. Okay, now I'm out of range and safe. Quite safe. Trampled. Nice. Okay, not quite as nice. Better. I can... Nah, I'm gonna take it with me even though it means more dehydration for her. Because it's not that serious. But 
But look at this guy that's slaying everyone left and right. Pretty useful. Oh, there's quite a number of them actually. Three Aaron Souls and one Ghost. That's uh, 20 XP. 20 XP is not much, but I'm not gonna say no to this. Yeah, and I keep moving in on them and I'm pretty close to destroying them. Just a quick reminder, we are not the good guys in this scenario. Absolutely not. Whoops. Whatever. I think I could have baited an Iron Soul uh, already this turn uh, with the ba with that bed over here, here. But now nah, I wouldn't have been able to reach. So let's go there. This one can't reach, and those guys can't reach either. That's important. Okay, there's even a an assassin. This could be nasty. More like this will be nasty. But it's yet to dis to see how nasty. Eisenstone clan. South Argon Hill Fortress Hills Fortress. That's apparently the place we are at. So that should be all of them, and this one can just leave there. Already I don't have any use for my bed over there. Not anymore. Okay, so there's apparently nothing else there. And this bed has done everything it needs to do as well. Then... I'm getting closer to villages again, so I could actually take down a couple of units and level up. Maybe. I'm undecided so far. Let's, let's play it safe for now. So short desk, short night it is. This one could reach over there, so let's not move there. How is the Cursed Plateau even accessible? I forgot. Huh. Whatever. This one is gonna be taken down first, which is pretty much according to plan. Like, see, everyone has a, a reduced chance to dodge at those places, which. Well, is the point of placing a bait at that point, at the, uh, that tax, to be precise. Yeah, that did not quite work out, but I guess at least I got a hit in. So, okay, kill this one and slow this one. Right? No, kill this one as well. Just to be safe. 
then the short task is gonna be over in a moment so this one is gonna suffer from uh, first but everyone else should be fine then bait this one like the usual I bait the ghost my ray finishes finishes it off um, yeah this one could totally take down the walls on on its own but it would be kinda a waste I think I'm gonna keep the bed around and feed it some XP but not a rave it would be too easy um, I'm not exactly playing on slow animation animations I'm playing on 1.75 where you can still see them clearly, but they're not so agonizingly slow. That's that's my compromise. Compromise. Um, so Marlin Kesha is helping them because, well, they beat him up, and they off and he offered to help so he could live, and they basically said yes. And for more story, you can just watch the the replay at, 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 at the the video of my stream I uploaded on YouTube. I think it should be visible on Twitch as well. Also let's put this one in again. So like any viewer can pick one unit per campaign or until it dies and just name it but it's only one unit per viewer. Uh, so far for this campaign no one has named anyone for uh, the, uh, the rise of wars of someone named uh, one of the heavy infantry men I have banished. Neat. Uh, right, just wondering, can you even hear the music or did I uh, turn it down a bit too much? Like, can't really judge that. Uh, which Elbow Fighter? There's one that can't be named. Oh, right, I only have one Elbow Fighter. And what name do we want to give that unit? I mean, of course it can be your uh, viewer name, but it can also be anything else you pick. Right. Uh, I forgot that I had leveled up this guy to an Alvashiro, of course. This one can't be named, by the way, the, he, has, he already has a fixed name. But that's not a viewer name, that's... Uh, let's say I gave him that name for story reasons. Somewhat. John Wick? Okay, fine. Just need to wait for my turn to be able to do this. See, whenever I press anything, it's their turn, so uh, I basically get, get disrupt. Uh, not label, unit name. Uh, nah, I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna put this in some separate place so I don't forget who named which unit and that this unit is named. So let's destroy them first. Shouldn't be too hard, it's especially so since I've taken down everyone they have. I do feel slightly bad for beating them up. Only slightly though.
I'm starting to wonder if I will even make it uh, to take down the wolves before my turns run out. And uh, not my turns run out before I beat the enemy leader. I'm not sure if this is my, the last enemy this scenario, but it might be, so... Well, that's fast. Yeah, uh, for the record I get to decide to what un kind of unit I leveled up and this one uh, was already destined, 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 I'm not sure what the word is, uh, to, to become a marshal. So, more well, for ledges for me, this one really doesn't need XP from killing that guy. This one will survive even though it's pretty close. Huh, so... Oh, I see, I need to defeat this one before before I can continue with the story. The usual, basically. Die. Damn, you pointy ear demons. Uh, death sound, I am no idea how to pronounce that. Ox, humans. Would that we were forced to kill everything in our way. Hey, elves. Someone new, apparently. Great job disposing of those invaders was taking a bit too long. Uh, how may we repaint you, repair you? Where's your leader? That would be me, Lord Gars of the Elves of the Valley of Elenia. You men control this pass, I presume? Yes. Yes, we do. These lands belong to my people, the Eisenstone clan. We do not normally allow visitors in our uh, territory because of reasons, but perhaps we could make an exception for you and your advisor. <coughs> and the necromancer too, of course. We can provide you with food and water for your soldiers at affordable prices. Prices, If you're interested, that is. And thanks for the offer, but we will need supplies and safe passage for a much larger number of people. Through your lands, if you don't mind. Lord Galas of the Elves, yes, yes, we have heard the rumors. Your people hunt down every human you approach, your sacred wall is seeking shelter from the demons. You hunt our species, like animals, yes you do. What makes you think we will allow your, uh, your army to take our lands and lives now, huh? Isn't that what, what you came here for? Our intentions are not enough. If you know what's good for you and your kind, you will turn back now. All will leave through the southwestern pass. Come on, man. So you see, they they uh, approached as allied units, and they are leaving as enemy units. Damn. Their intentions are more transparent than they realize. Of course they were trying to set a trap for us. Well, although if they have a few necromancers on their side, getting rid of them should be relatively easy. What other options do we what other options do we have, Malkesher? The southwestern pass uh, pa southwestern pass they mentioned, well, at least to a completely uninhibited uninhibited plateau, so it is a valid alternative if you want to avoid fighting the humans. Just note that there are barely any sources of water in directions. Your people would only be able to march at night. Choosing that option would be would do little good for your popularity after accepting my offer. <laughs> so like uh, the southwestern pass also go, uh, leaves to uh, goes to a fight. And there's also a pretty nifty item there, but I chose to fight the humans because one, I can gain more XP in this scenario, and two, more importantly, in the next scenario I, uh, to which I get only after fighting those humans, I will gain an item I want to have. So that's not really an option for me. And not going there is not an option. Let us confront the humans. I knew we wouldn't you wouldn't turn down the possibility of a good fight, boy. 
We shall do this on my terms, though. That means no killing unless strictly necessary, no torturing captured enemies, and no raising corpses. In particular, no harm must come to the clan leader. We may only assume control of their lands temporarily in order to allow our people through. A sound plan, clan leader, but... Proving a point to just barbarians? Is it really worth it? Only time will tell for sure. Capture the leader of the Eisenstall clan by reducing head to zero hit points or lower. Plague you and drain weapon specials have no effect on the Eisenstone clan humans for the remainder of the scenario because of the rules Gala set out for everyone. Which I actually approve of. Like. Ah, the refreshing feeling of my feet in the water. I miss our peaceful volley. We all do. I think we are. We really all miss it. So, heal. And, yep. Okay, so apparently I can't leave over there. That's kinda funny. But, okay. Okay, and get this bed over there to scout ahead. At least it means I have enough time to beat those Wolves up. <laughs> I think I've got enough of every kind for now. Uh, let's level up the units I have for now. For example, this rider. So there's John Wick. Yeah, this looks okay. Alright, uh, leave him here so he gets healed. Banished. Good job. Um, you know what? Five minute break. I need it. It's been... One minute and twi uh, one hour and twenty minutes already. Five minute break. I'll be back. Just a moment.
So I'm back. I made it. So where were we? Right. Beating up a couple of people. Not exactly for fun, but close enough. Then Right, and preferably get a couple of couple more units than I have by right now. Just wondering if I should go for more elves or not. Like I have a pretty good lineup of units on my recall list by now. I think I'm gonna get another shaman and leave it at that. And yeah, those two I'm gonna send for the wolves over there. This one needs a healer or a village. There's this guy. So for now I'm not gonna attack this one because I actually want it to take me instead. 30, 30, perfect. So I hope that this one attacks my walking corpse over there and it should be fine. Yeah, and those guys just need a bit more, well, to heal. They're pretty damaged right now. Perfect. So this gains me some XP and some damage on this one without even doing anything. Just running who should finish this off. Let's say... So not this one because there is a chance of death. This one. Or at least try to. Then... Perfect. Seriously? At least whoever he attacks will kill him once he attacks. It's, even though it's just a small consolation. So, those three are gonna take care of the wolves. Then, so the enemy is somewhere over there, so still quite a distance, but close enough, I think. Night is almost uh, is almost begun, so I don't really need to keep formation right now, but it is a habit by now. Whew, I was scared of losing my bad stand, it would have been not great at all. So bait this one from over there, I guess, or no, from over there, or even smarter like this. They're gonna attack, they're gonna take a lot of damage, and then I can just finish them off in peace, or in pieces, depends. So this one, there. Because I need my bed right now somewhere else, so I won't be able to keep up this vision. Okay. You see, they have some necromancers, so they have also a couple of undead girds. Not too surprisingly. Not too surprise. Yeah, too surprisingly is the right word. Just wondering. Okay, and this is the assembly of people that's gonna take them down. Neutral humans, actually. I 
think that's pretty much perfect. Like, they are almost dead. And I can just finish them off. And I'm gonna put this one. Yeah, it's risky. I'm put, gonna put this one over there to finish them off. Um, yeah, looks nice. So there's the guardians. This one can deal up to f 40 damage, so if this one and another unit can attack him, he's likely to, na well not exactly likely to die, but he can die, which is bad. So I'm gonna bait him over there instead and have my healer at the ready. Also, I need to be prepared to uh, have my units ready to get into formation in the next turn, during the next turn. Gotta laugh how dumb the uh, wildlife is really attacking anything that they see. Makes me wonder how they even managed to survive this long. Now the big bagged evil wolf. Dire wolf even. Crazy stuff. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna be able to scout more than that. That's okay. So if I can take this one down before I move my cashier, I sh... No, no, I, even then I won't be able to move to the keep, true. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's move them over there instead. So this one is pretty much guaranteed to attack this one, but how much damage do they even deal? 13 damage, so they can't kill him. So I can do that. Probably won't attack him, because, well, way too much damage. And this one needs to get over there to be part of the formation. Really, that's what I love about Elder's Champions. They are truly champions. Especially when it's about dealing damage. So let's get this one one last hit on him. Nope, not like that. Like that instead. So Milecatcher is just gonna go on a ramp rampage over there. That's a, that's certainly the right word. Like I absolutely plan on taking down every single one 
I can see. Damn it. Okay, so this is not great, but I can deal with that. It is one attacks him and takes I will take some damage, but nothing too terrible. Terrible. Kinda funny how everyone ignores the road and just goes for the mountains instead. So I think no one died, right? Status... Status... Nah, statistics, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so... A couple of walking corpses and a vampire bed. I remember those deaths and they are okay. I mean, this is like the perfect moment to level up my bed. It's pretty rare that you get so you get enemies that are so divided, so I can so, so you can take them piecemeal by piecemeal. So everyone gets a healer, except Malakesha, but he doesn't really need one anyway. Healer, healer, not quite a healer. Retreat, sacrifice, sacrifice. Yeah, I think that will work. I think uh, this strange combination is exactly what they uh, what the offer was going for. It's. I think it's also pretty interesting and strong. And let's be honest, without the undead, the elves would be so screwed on this map. Okay, maybe not that much, but still quite a bit. And I couldn't, I certainly wouldn't be able to do things like this where I, um, well, farm the map, uh, so to speak. And especially in a couple of scenarios later on, I really wouldn't be able to do much without an undead. Uh, because I will go underground. And elves really don't do well on their ground. They do need all the hand holding they can get there. Although Malkesha wouldn't be happy about uh, saying it like that. Okay, this was interesting. Like, just checking. Like, let me save this for a moment, then... Then try if this is bugged. So he levels up, okay. Then he levels up again. <laughs> this is pro... Uh, I'm not sure. Whatever, let's 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 just report it and let the author worry about it.
just writing this down for a moment so I don't forget what happened. This was around 137. So let's go on and let not worry about if someone else can do that. Not me. Vision. There's apparently a couple of grids over there. Undead wants to boot. Pretty nice place if I uh, may say so. Then he needs a healer basically. Yeah, let's just finish off this guy. I mean, why not? <laughs> right, drain doesn't work on them, so uh, Malkasha has a far harder time uh, healing himself. I kind of forgot it and was really confused why this doesn't work. It still works against uh, any other kind of enemy, like anyone who's, who doesn't belong to this Eisenhardt clan. Or uh, how it, were they called? What were they called? Eisenstone clan. So I'm trying to level up this one. Perfect. A big spider for me. And I can just forget those guys over there now because I will never use them again. At least not during this scenario because I just... Well... They won't be able to reach. So there's that guy and let's one versus one. Then a bit more vision please. much done with the scenario now and I've leveled up too many units so I'm in minus again so I need to grab that village over there pretty soon also I'm actually somewhat running out of time so I do need to um, take down the enemy leader soon so basically two reasons to do one thing Just trying to level up this one finally. Well, it somewhat works. Right. I don't have enough space. I've 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 got as many of them as I can. Uh, so now I don't so I have as many living units I can fit around my healers so I can't put any of my undead units there because well not enough healers at least not during daytime so why do I heal my units over here because if I don't they will annoy me mid healed two rest HP every single time I end a turn and I don't want it. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, see. Look, uh, she is at max level and she has uh, even advancements beyond the max level. Not, not uh, level 5 and level 6 or stuff, but she can unlock abilities by, well, leveling up. That's interesting. Okay. This is weird. Whatever. Uh, what would be the... Don't show... Okay, so this is a bug, apparently. So she can unlock the drain special for her melee attacks and get one more strike for her gloss summer. Or her slowing attack and get a lot of normal uh, max level advancements. Uh, Galas and Galas and Marquesha don't have this one yet, and the uh, author is still one, still f trying to figure out what would be useful and what would be too OP and what would be interesting to begin with. So they just don't have one yet, but there will be some at some point in the future, and I will, and I think that's gonna be awesome. Like now I can feed XP to my... Uh, if I do that I can feed XP to my um, hero units without worrying about wasting it. Because it won't be wasted. So, need that village and I need it now. Eleven turns left. I can do that in time, I think. Yeah, whatever. Um, next turn. So yeah, this unlocks in the next term as a high level unit in the control Alinda has special after maximum level advancements armless you can learn more about those by right clicking here and choosing the unit advancements and options see this is something i demonstrated last turn this one i think it's pretty cool pretty damn cool wait did they lose a walking corpse just now Wait, what? I lost my... No. I don't want it. And I really should have accounted for that because he can reach and I totally overlooked it. Damn it. Die. Please. Or maybe not. So this one is gonna get attacked by this one, but he, unlike my Bloodbat, can totally tank, the, tank that damage and survive. I'm also giving him a healer, so he gets healed instant. Oh wait, I'm just gonna take the village instead, because she can also tank that damage. That way I won't be in negative income. Okay, short dark is pretty soon. Let's get everyone into position. Yeah, both can attack there and I can destroy them there. Sounds good to me. I 
think this is even better as a bait because I don't want this one to get a kill anyway. So he takes the damage, he deals damage to them. And then my level 1 units finish them off and earn some XP. So by the way, she's flying now, so she only needs one movement point to uh, go over the sands. And can totally beat up everyone attacking her. Pretty useful, if you ask me. I just need to focus on finishing this scenario on time so I don't get into trouble. Yeah, and this is pretty much exactly what I wanted out of this. Oh. Nope. Not safe. Very safe. Also run those guys down. Whoops, that was a misclick. This is not. Hopefully baits that one out of there. Then level this one up so he can... Oh right, um, this devil leveling up is part of the refreshment apparently. Not sure if it could be handled differently. It sure looks a bit weird. So I'd say I cut it surprising a uh, short uh, close with the number of turns available, but I did it. Like not quite yet, but I don't think I need eight turns for this now. Certainly not. Yay, a level up. Put this one as well. I don't quite dare to take those villages over there because of this guy. But beyond that I should be fine. Yeah, this is probably gonna work. <laughs> right, dead wolf still needs to get baited. Perfect. Dead one takes a bait, so I can easily finish him off now without having to go through his units. Assuring me a bit more of uh, early finish bonus than I have right now. Don't kill? Yes. Because I want him to get XP. Yeah, 
uh, I'm basically squeezing out, out as much XP as possible for before I have to kill the enemy leader uh, or rather before this turn ends because I could of course stretch it if, uh, for a couple more turns but that's something I really don't want to do so I did it. All right, Elf Lord, you got me and my people. Go ahead and serve us to your starving subjects. What do I care? Of course. It didn't occur to me that we could deal with our food storage by feeding up on our prisoners. Sadly, I had a different fate in mind for you and your people, and honestly, I have to wonder where that absurd notion of elves hunting humans for food originated in the first place. Unaya, take this woman and the local necromancers to your camp. Yes, my lord. So, I th think there should be a unit visible, but there isn't. So, let me just screenshot this and send to the offer and just hope they can fix this. Right, Unaya is basically another uh, leader of the people of the elves of the Warlay of Alinea. Lots of of, uh, but and that's is that's her basically her cutscene there because she will be relevant in later scenarios, not anytime soon, but at some point, which is why she's more or less being shown right now. Let us prepare things for the arrival of our main host. The civilians who did not make the trek uh, through the desert with the warriors, which, well, because would have pretty much killed most of them. I emerged victorious. 108 bonus gold for the next scenario. Let's look at the stats. I think I did a pretty damn good job with a lot of advan advancements to boot. Okay, so those advancements don't count double. Great. So, when did I save? I saved at turn 47, so... Fly. Oops, nope, not that one. I'm just uploading a save from this. From the bugs, we noto I noticed uh, this scenario, this stream, so someone else can fix them. And I think with almost two hours, I'm done for the day. I'm so done. See you next time. Probably to uh, take another attempt at the third scenario of the Rise of Westnoff. But maybe I skip it and go for invasion from the unknown instead. So yeah. See you.